also if you watched my video last week you will know that I had a makeup declutter I went through my makeup got rid of loads of stuff apart from lip products and I just couldn't bring myself to go through them and while I was doing it I changed up what was in my current makeup bag just putting some things I wanted to try out use more use up etc so I just switched it I've changed my current everyday makeup so today I thought I'd film my everyday makeup look thought I'd make this video a bit more of a chatty one as well as sometimes it's quite nice to do a bit of a chatty video I'm gonna look down into my mirror because my viewfinder is a bit far from me so if I'm looking down or slightly out of the shot or whatever sometimes sorry about that I'll try my best to make sure I'm in the shot and the mirror is not in my way so let's get on to it I've got the MAC prep and prime primer to use this is a mini sample which I got sent with something but I've just had it and haven't used it so I thought I'd try it so I'm just gonna pop some of that on my fingers and put it all over my face oh it's a funny texture it's a bit um like kind of lumpy it's not gone off I don't think I'm not sure how I feel about it so just rubbing that in I'm not wearing much makeup today I'm not going anywhere or anything so it's just kind of just put on my makeup to start my day rather than to do anything particular right so I got some primer and then the foundation I got is the L'Oreal True Match foundation um I've got the shade 2R slash 2C Rose Vanilla I I really like their new campaign, I think it's great. I like that they've got a guy in it, I like that they've got so many different races and different skin tones in it and so many different people. I just think it's a really, really good campaign, um, which was really what made me buy this foundation. I struggle to find any foundations which are right for my skin, so um, as it seems to have so many shades, I thought I'd pick one up, but I'm not actually sure if I picked up the right shade for me. I think it could be a tiny bit dark, but I'm just putting on a little oh, 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 over my lip. I'm just putting on a little bit today because I'm not going anywhere. Like I said, I just want a small amount of coverage. I have fairly clear skin anyway, but some, it's just nice to have a little bit of a base for makeup. So I've only used this a few times before. I think I like it. It's not blowing my mind. But I've only used it a few times and I'm using this brush I don't think it's meant for foundation but I really like this brush for foundation because it's so quick it's a Real Techniques 103 brush Asian brush is so massive that it's so quick to just buff over your skin right that is foundation done concealer wise I've got my I've got my NARS Creamy Radiant Concealer in the shade Vanilla. I just wanted to use this up. I do like this and I think it's great coverage, but it is a tad dry in. I've heard the, um, what's it called? The Naked, um, Urban Decay Naked Concealer is better for, um, it's good coverage like this, but less drying, so maybe I'll try that next. And I'm just doing that under my eyes. I'm just a tad around the redness of my nose and on my chin like that and brush wise I am going to use ugh, this my so we have a face shape brush this is the 111 brush and I'm just I'm not going to edit this video much because I feel like just doing a bit of a chatty video so but yeah that's what's happening so it might be a bit more rambly than my usual video but I just thought I'd try it out there we go a little bit of concealer and my last kind of cream product oh that's really brightening under my eyes I could see in my viewfinder more so than my mirror how brightening that is under my eyes maybe that's the lighting of my camera I don't know last of my creamy liquid products I'm going to use a Cream bronzer and it is the L'Oreal Glam Bronze Cushion de Soleil. I said this in my last video. I think this is literally supposed to be a copy of the Chanel Tan de Soleil Chanel, whatever you know the one, whatever that's called, which is my go-to cream bronzer. 
and I've used this a few times but I find it is very very pigmented I'm going to try and just use a teeny weeny bit you need to dip your brush in once and that is it so to apply that I'm using my Real Techniques 103 brush I love this brush for like contour because it's just so like straight and gets in the right places you really go in with one dip like that I am just taking that one dab just under my ear diagonally and the same on the other side dab dab and a little bit on the high points of my face as well just a tad and just a little bit under my chin as well to kind of sort out my jawline and to blend that I think I'm just going to go back in with the foundation brush I used just because it's nice and big and it gives it, I find it gives a nice natural look if you use the same brush for foundation so especially blending under the chin because we don't want no lines there blend 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 and then just on the cheekbones this doesn't blend very neatly because it's such a big brush but it's just quick and easy and I'm doing quick makeup today I'm not not really faffed about my makeup to be honest <laughs> I just I just thought I'd film it still. So, do, do, do. Oh, got my hair involved there. Oh. That's better. I look a bit more alive, and I got a little bit of colour. Um, I actually really like that bronzer, but it's just so pigmented and so much comes out, so it's very easy to over apply. I think I got just the right amount on there that I didn't want. I don't want to look too bronze. And now. Powder wise, I'm going to use my Bourjois Healthy Balance Powder and I've got that in this shade 52 Vanilla. I'm going to take my brush, this is my Zoeva 106 powder brush and just dab it in there and just... This is a matte finish powder which is quite different to what I have been using. I've been using Hourglass Ambient Lighting which is quite a shimmery powder. This is matte, but I quite like this. Um, as it's going into the cooler months, I think this is a nicer powder for the cooler months. And it's not too matte. It doesn't make my skin look drier than it is. So that's that. So powder done. And now to give my cheeks a bit more colour. Blush-wise, I've got the Clinique blush in Pink Love. It is a Pretty pink blush with um, some sparkle going through. I love this blusher actually. I got this. I don't think this is a full size. I, this one I got. I don't think it's a full size. I got it free with stuff. So I don't think it's a full size, but I love it loads and I forgot how much I liked it until I put it back in my makeup brush. In my makeup brush? Until I put it back in my makeup bag the other week and realised that I love it. Um, and I'm just going to pop that on that for some of my cheeks. To do that, I use the Zoeva 127 Luxury Cheek Brush. So that is that. And now, highlight. I've also toned down my shimmeriness of my highlight. I've got the Super Glory Glow Highlight, which is a pink tone highlighter, more natural looking than my usual champagne pop. And I'm using the Real Techniques 300 brush to just apply that along the tops of my cheeks bones and just so that's my base done now i'm going to move a little bit closer to the camera to do my eyebrow so i'm going to do my eyebrows next and i've gone back to using my browsing from benefit now as you can see the lines are all packaged in so it's really old and i have had my fair bit of use out of it but I'll come back to it just because I thought I may as well use it up so I'm just dipping my brush which is the Anastasia Beverly Hills 15 brush oh little angled brush um in the wax side and I am just going to give my brow some shape Now I like to mainly add to the outside of my brows, so the top and the bottom to make them look a little thicker and fuller where they're sparse. I sort of leave the middle as they are because my brows are quite full in the middle anyway. And when I got less product from the brush I tend to then do the inside like that. 
and then I'm going to do the same with the wax on the other eyebrow and then I'll move on to the powder to sort it out. And this brow is a bit of a nicer shape than the other brow so that's a good thing. And let's draw it on. I like to do small strokes so that they look sort of hair like. And I always turn, oh, <laughs> gone a bit crazy at the end there. Always turn the brush as I get to the end when there's less product on the brush. If there's too much product on the brush, that happens, that then looks really cool. And I'll turn it out. And sometimes I just use my finger to shape the end. So their brow's almost done. I'm just going to add the powder then to just, just finish them up. And to do that, I'm using my Real Techniques, not sure what brush this is, their angled brush is a lot thicker than the one I just used, and dip it in the powder of the product and just lightly dust it over. I forgot how much I love this brow stuff, but it is quite dark compared to I've been using the Anastasia one and it's a bit, um, a bit more red toned and a bit lighter. They're actually a bit dark, so I'm just going to get a cotton wool bud and run it over my brows. If my brows ever look too dark, I just get a cotton wool bud and just literally run it along the brows and just get some of the product from the top off, like so. There we go, that looks a lot better. There we go, so now I've got my brows done. Um, so I'm going to do my eyeshadow now. I'm going for a really simple eyeshadow look. I'm using... Um, is it Maybelline? What brand is this? The, it's a colour tattoo in the shade On and On Bronze. I think it's Maybelline, but I will double check that. And I'm gonna dip my finger in it. Just gonna dip my finger in like that. It's just a bronze cream eyeshadow base. And I'm just gonna stick that all over my eyelids. Like so. Using my finger. It's just so quick and I really like this. I watched a video recently with Ingrid Nelson and I'm pretty sure she used this or a very similar shade in this and it looked really nice and I thought oh well, I've got one of these and I never used to use it I kind of it's one of those products I had and kind of forgot I had. I'm just going to take a fluffy brush to blend it out. My MAC 217 brush and just blend it out And do the same with the other eye. Yeah, these are good and they last quite long on as well, so they are a they're worth the buy, they're very cheap. Everything in this makeup look unintentionally is really um cheap. Everything's high street. I well, I think I switched products back in. A lot of my high end products that I've been using for ages have come out apart from the most expensive thing in this I think was the eyebrow stuff which is benefit. Everything else has been like Super Glory, Maybelline, you know, the stan standard high street brands. I'll link everything below anyway, so if you're interested in any of the products. So that's eyeshadow done, just blend it all out. Um, put on some pencil eyeliner for this look because I said in my last video that I was going to put a pencil eyeliner in my makeup bag because I haven't used one in a while. Do it on my waterline at the bottom, I think, and I'm going to use this one. It is the, I think it's like, yeah, Lancome Le Crayon Cool. Probably not how you pronounce it, but you know, I'm just going to line my waterline. Oh, I've sharpened it too sharp and it really hurt my eye. Wearing eyeliner and my waterline reminds me of when I first started wearing makeup. I mean, like when I was about 13 and I didn't have to do makeup, and the only thing I'd ever wear was eyeliner and my waterline because I thought I looked grown up or something. I don't know. I have, and I'm just doing it in the top as well. I find this the most painful thing to do. Not painful, but like ticklish. I'm gonna curl my lashes. These are just some number seven curlers I use all the time. Just gonna clamp my lashes, bend them up a bit, and Hold it for a few seconds and on to the next one. There we go. 
And mascara wise, I have the Rimmel Lash Accelerator and And I'm really impressed with this one. It was one I popped back in my main makeup collection the other day. And I, first time around when I brought it, I never really used it. And I quite like it. It's not very thickening, but it's quite um, separating in it. Does lengthen your lashes, but I've got pretty rubbish lashes, so it takes a lot for anything to happen to mine. But I'm just gonna. The wand reminds me of the. What's it called? You know, the one, don't you? Um, Benefit the real, real wand, like that very plasticky wand. Which I don't usually like those ones if I they irritate my eyes a bit. Okay, it takes me a while to do my mascara because, like I said, I've got really short, stubby, rubbish eyelashes. And I'm going to put some on the bottom lashes. I like this one for doing bottom lash mascara. Right, so one eye has mascara done and I'm going to now do the other one quickly. Also, on my bottom lashes I do each one differently. On my left there I do it like with the brush that way. My right idea was the one that way, I don't know why. I think this mascara is maybe one to pair with another one because it's not very thick in it and my eyelashes look quite thin when I use it. But it's very separating. So that's the eye makeup done, that was so quick and easy. Um, lip products, I didn't really talk about lip products in my last video because I didn't want to swap them up because I, I, I didn't want to get rid of any lipsticks because I'm obsessed. Decided for today I'm going to wear one of the Tanya Burr Cosmetics matte lip. I blog post on them soon and I've had them a while apart from the shade I actually wanted the most which was um, Martha Moo. Couldn't get anywhere because it just sold up so fast. But I've got the shade Rhubarb and Custard hair. So I'm going to pop that on my lips. They smell nice. And it's quite a pink shade. I'm just gonna. Quite a lot comes out on the wand. The wand is also very tickly on my lips. That's that lipstick on. Um, that's just with one layer, so I think I will pop another layer on and then let it dry, and then I'll show you the final makeup look. So that's with the lip on, I just need to wait for it to dry. It's not very dry on the lip for a matte lip. That's good. Um, so this is the final makeup. I'd love to hear what you think of this look. So please let me know what you think. It's a really quick and easy everyday makeup look. I quite like it. Um, I like all the products I use actually. And I'll probably be wearing this look quite a lot. I'm not going to be swapping anything out of my makeup bag anytime soon. I'm happy with everything I use. I think this may be my go-to makeup look for a while now. Let me know what you think of it. Bye.